back at the, uh, the barber shop with my boy uh, Drew. No clutch, no glory. Had to bring uh, Rodney through. So obviously played here for seven years. This was a spot that held me down uh, the entire time I was here. Four games, whenever there's a special event, even if it's just a rough patch of uh, time where I needed a haircut, this is a place to be. So had to slide back through and uh, just wanted to take Rodney through and show him a little of uh, what Chicago has to offer. Man, it's good. It's good to have. Like, I feel like Sean and I have known each other for a while now. I, he came. He came out the year after I did. Played against each other plenty of times. I've actually scored on him a couple of times as well. How but, many times uh, did he stop? I don't even remember. I mean, <laughs> nobody keeps counting that. Actually, like, actually, like, hold it, hold it, hold it. The reason. Just hold it. But uh, no, it's been great having him as a teammate. I have a lot of respect for him, like his grind. He understands what, what it takes to, to win and he's willing to put in the work. So it, it's good to, to see that every day, like competing with him and knowing that he's got your back. You know, we're, we're close to the same age and we share a lot of the, you know, the same thing. So it's, it's good to have somebody that you can just kick it with, not just on the field, but off the field, you know, we get to spend some time and, and, and kick it. Slipping that hundred dollars later for that uh, that good little little talk me up. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's been it's been it's been good, man. Like having Rod as a teammate too, it's been it's been good. Like obviously, like you said, we played against each other tons of times throughout the years, and you know, like we've had our battles on the field against each other, but being able to step on the same field and represent the same team, and you know, we're we're both kind of you know more experienced players in this league on this team, so just kind of bringing that to some of the younger guys every day, you know, just kind of just kind of laying the groundwork for, you know, what we, we obviously want to win and we want to, you know, be the best we can be. And it's uh, kind of one of the, you know, those things that's contagious throughout the team. Trying to win championships, man. I think that they put in, they put a, a good squad together. A lot of hungry, hungry people on this team that are willing to put in the work to, to get the trophies, man. So it's a good, good mix in the locker room. Yeah. Good mix of haircuts too, which is which is good. Yeah. As, as for banter. So who would you say on the team has the worst haircut? <laughs> Can't believe you're putting me on the spot like that. Honestly, I don't know. Let's start with this. Who has who, has, who are some of the, the better hairstyles, the better haircuts? I wouldn't even go as far as to mention the people who have the best haircuts. I would I would go with like. I would go with dudes that get their, their back rounded. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if that's still a thing. <laughs> if you're still rounding the back, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I would have to say, Jonathan Lewis could probably do a better job at communicating with his barber. <laughs> communi communi communication is an important thing. Communication but with the barber is a huge thing. Because he clearly, he clearly had a lack of communication yeah. somewhere. Because he was confused about his round back. <laughs> <laughs> round pandy back. <laughs> Your hairstyle is everything, because if, if it goes if it goes awry, if it goes haywire, then it takes you know two weeks, sometimes it's a problem. month. It's problem. I remember actually preseason this year. I won't name names, but preseason this year, I texted Drew. And I was like, "Yo, Drew, like I was back home and somebody got me. Somebody somebody messed me up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the term we use. Somebody got me, right? They they either pushed me back, which is you know." pushing back the hairline a little bit, or... They took you too high on the yeah, fade. Yeah, yeah. Like, in Jonathan's case, he thought he was getting, a, you know, a nice a nice fade in the back, but he got a round back, and, you know, which is why we can, you know, safely refer to him as round back now. We it's, call him uh, Bert, we call him Bert. <laughs> from, <laughs> from Sesame Street. Looking back, growing up until now, have you had any hairstyles that you've regretted? When we were like 12 years old, we used to dye our hair the color of our jerseys. Did you do that or no? That was just, no? Nah, like I don't nah, know what they were was, doing in DC. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, not, not in oh, Atlanta, man. Nah. Yeah, we used to, like, we used to dye our hair for that, for that day. We had a little spray. When Cisco came around with that silver. <laughs> you guys just spray painting each other's we, hair. We, we did that. Um, and then uh, recently, I decided to to twist my hair and let it dread a little bit during the summertime. 
and I really convinced myself that I was gonna get dreads. It was one of those. It was a humbling you, experience. I, I just failed. Yeah, I failed. I played a couple of games. I had to like put my hair in a, in a ponytail. It just it, it wasn't right. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. Know? It wasn't and then, you. Yeah, there's evidence out there. They, you know, there's video evidence. Like if you guys want to check it out, go right ahead. But and you wouldn't have known until you tried. So I had to try it. I did it. You know what I mean? I had a, I had a few moments. Like my uh, my mom decided to have a rat tail. Oh no. Yes, a rat tail. So I had, I had a nice little little fade, a high top fade with a rat tail in the back. But how long was the rat tail? The rat tail was probably like six inches long. And it was natural hair or was Nat it one? Uh, <laughs> Yo, was it no. <laughs> no, no. Was it, it was all, It was all natural, okay, it was all okay. natural. There's there nothing added. Nah, but the craziest thing about that hairstyle was uh, she saved it in a scrapbook. So I still have the rat tail in a scrapbook back home. Sometimes that's okay though. It's Sometimes not okay. Because right you, know, you, know, you know it comes out. Christmas time, Thanksgiving. I don't know if you remember, but I came in the preseason. Like, it may have just been growing out when, when you came in. It was in. like in that between, in between stage. We didn't really know what Bro, you were trying like, to do. I, like, when, we were trying to ask questions. You were, weren't really comfortable like answering them. <laughs> you weren't I, really, yeah. I was, I was catching heat from people like on the other side of the country that had just caught a glimpse of my hair, you know? Like, are you doing a fade or are you doing a hog? Like, where are you right now? <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. I, you know what? I have, I'm sure, I'm sure there's photo evidence too of back when I had the hawk, but that's, I think that's, that was a time of, I don't think I've ever been so upset, you know, because I, we talk about, just, do anything about it. Yeah, we, we, we talked about consistency. I went, I went to the same, I went to the same barber. I went to the same barber a week prior and got an unbelievable cut. I was, I was there and then, uh, I go back a week later just to get cleaned up. I say, yo, like, that last cut was super nice. Like, just same thing, just give me just a quick, like, just a quick touch up, like, leaving tomorrow. And then you just don't worry about it. Then you sit down, you relax, like, didn't even look in the mirror the entire time. And, like, you can kind of feel, like, different things going on. And I knew something was going wrong when he told me, like, the guard was broken. Mm. But he knew how to use half the guard. And he could, like, he said, it takes a special barber to know how to use half a guard. And I was like, I don't know anything about cutting hair. I got up out of that chair and, and like I didn't want to let my emotions get the best of me, but I, I was kind of like telling exactly how I felt. I was like, yo, this isn't the same thing. Like, this is crazy. Like you gave me you gave me a mohawk and he's like, nah, nah, nah. Like it'll take it'll take one and a half, two weeks to grow back. And it took the entire preseason. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, 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 I took a picture of my hair, I sent it to Drew. I said, yo, Drew, like how can I like, how can I salvage this? What do I need to do? You know? It was just nothing I could do. It was just time. Yeah. I feel like the first time we talked about was the Mohawk. Like I was like, "Yo, Sean, like, what up? Preseason." And I like looked up at his hair, and like he was like, "Bro, I don't." He gave me a Mohawk. I was like, "Yo, what do you need to ask you about that?" I was here. <laughs> So what's your move been like? You know what I mean, from Chicago to New York. Yeah, overall experience. I mean, the move was the move was good, man. Honestly, it was it was something that I needed in my career. But I mean, at the same time, I think you never know when moving to a different city. You know, you always hear like New York's a massive city. It's busy. Like I don't live downtown in the thick of it. But when I got there, it was like it's pretty eye opening. You know what I mean? Like going to one a good team, like. You know, it's 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 a completely different ball game, like with with our club. You know, compared to kind of like what I what I dealt with in Chicago over the years. You know, not to you know, you know knock on Chicago, but you know things are just done differently it's in New different, York. Different yeah, it's organizations. different. Yeah, everything's different. It's just getting used to the kind of flow of the city. I make my way down every now and then just to kind of you know check out different areas, see what I like. Um, but it's uh, it's a dope city. It's a, there's a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but you like have the best of. Everything. Every world, yeah. yeah. Everything everything you can think of is pretty much in arm's reach, which is the best, I think. And so I've been kind of fortunate to live in like two great cities, Chicago, then New York, and then having grown up in the suburbs in Georgia, backwoods, you know, like never really knew that I was gonna be living in a big city, so it really came up, huh? Yeah. So come from up a real. rat tail to a decent haircut, you know. shout <laughs> yeah. probably one of your better shouts but you know what though this is a man of experience though 
He's up. Sean? He just, he always knows like where to go in any city. Like you need this, that, like you're talking about cars, you're talking about Amazon. <laughs> Yo, I got you. You need it, I got you. You need electronics, yeah, you need this. Fred, Fred he, asked me the other day. Fred, Fred was asking me about headphones the other day. It's like no problem though. I feel like a proud father right now. Really. Huh? I feel like a proud father right now. Ah, me. Ah, me, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. You. Clean up nice. <laughs>